During his trip to the Vancouver Zoo, a man was shocked when an escaped baboon stole his ice cream. Afraid of sustaining serious injuries, the man consented to the baboon that he keep the ice cream, which wasn't his favorite flavor anyway. I, I also would consent to a baboon that was trying to eat my ice cream. But anyway, let's see if this is the best way to say that. So the man consented to the baboon that he keep the ice cream. So this is a little bit strange, especially because the man consented to the baboon that he, who is he referring to? I mean, we know he keep the ice cream, that the baboon keep the ice cream. But it still feels a little bit, I was talking about he the man, he the baboon. It feels like a little bit of a, 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 a clumsy way of, of saying this. So let's see if the other, the other choices, how those work. So the man let the baboon keep the ice cream, which wasn't his favorite flavor anyway. So that one actually doesn't seem too, too bad. So let's see. Afraid of sustaining serious injuries, the man let the baboon keep the ice cream, which wasn't his favorite flavor anyway. Yeah, this seems, this seems decent. Afraid of sustaining serious injuries, the man granted the baboon permission to keep the ice cream. Which wasn't his favorite flavor anyway. This seems like a very formal thing to do while a baboon's trying to eat your ice cream. Now this this is this is way too wordy and, and just kind of weird. Afraid of sustaining serious injuries, the man authorized the baboon authorized the baboon to keep the ice cream. That too feels a little bit bureaucratic for, for what's going on. I think the man just let the baboon keep the ice cream. Nice and clean, to the point, it is concise, it is the way that most human beings actually talk, and it doesn't sound like something that's happening at, at City Hall. So yeah, the man, con the man let the baboon keep the ice cream. Even consented to the baboon that he keep it. So it's very clumsy and you know, it's consenting for someone else to keep ice cream is not how uh, uh, we, we talk in everyday life.